Hi, I'm uh, Bob Tabersack, uh, one of the board members who are here today, uh, Gladys Cooper uh, and uh, Kathy Malamaro. Uh I know all of you read the papers, and you know it hasn't been fun what everybody's been going through um, as far as the budget is concerned, not just the education budget, but the, the whole budget process on every level. Uh, I just want to update where we are, okay, uh, from uh, the last uh, meeting. Uh, we went into uh, the uh, city council and to the mayor asking for a 3.81 budget increase, and that would have lost some positions, and, and we would have lost uh, some uh, uh, some classes and so forth. But it was sort of like the bottom line that we thought we could afford. And uh, by the way, I voted against it because I thought it was too much of a bottom line. Okay, so personally, but you know, reality is reality. <clears throat> Okay, you, you may not like it, I may not like it, but you, you, know, you take what, what you get. Uh, so, what it came down to finally, uh, the city council and uh, the mayor, they voted uh, pretty one-sided uh, for a 3% budget, I believe, and 1.79% of that was an increase, 1.79 for the education budget. So, and then, uh, as the mayor said, and I think uh, Tom said, Okay, we have set the top line. Now it's up to the Board of Education to decide where the cuts were because uh, many, many people, of course, were disturbed with their programs or the things they were most interested in or just the whole concept of, you know, where we're going to be at at this time. Is it not even going to be as good as it was a few years ago? So that we had a few public hearings and the, uh, the city council had one on the whole budget, but the education one probably took most of the time, I think anybody who was there would, would say, right? Yes. Uh, and most yes. people uh, were talking about uh, different black programs were being cut, teachers being cut, and so forth. But the reality was the, the school board had a, you know, we have to operate with what the 1.79 was uh, given to us. We cannot create a deficit, okay? Uh, so. The thing is, we went through a number of scenarios, okay? Uh, and I think all three of us are on the Finance Committee. Am I right on that? Maybe am I wrong on that? But we, we went through the Finance, like the Council would, we have a Finance Committee, and then uh, the Cabinet and the, the Executives uh, make their proposals, we debate it, we decide on something, we propose it to the whole Board of Ed. And tomorrow will be the big, the big thing. Okay, uh, the final thing that we're proposing. What I want everyone here to know is that the Board of Education and the Cabinet, which is the higher administration, did listen very intently, okay, with our hearts and souls on what you heard at the City Council meeting regarding education when the public was speaking. And what we heard, we had a large meeting um, at Rogers Park. Okay, and we've reworked it and reworked it, taking into consideration what the public was demanding, but we can't meet every public demand given just the dollars <coughs> and the numbers. So tomorrow, there's going to be a proposal at the Board of Ed meeting of uh, what we finally came up with. Uh, the full, full board has to vote on it for us, okay? Uh, a number of things were changed, meeting what seemed to be most of, I have to say most of, not all, of the major disappointments of the public. Okay? We did our best. Uh, I hope you, you know, keep uh, in touch with this. I, we expect a, a large turnout. Um, at the board tomorrow, and I would be surprised if they changed the menu, but uh, maybe it's a little too late for that. But I want you to realize that's where we're at. We did listen to the public. Uh, we made an attempt, uh, but it was maybe a little bit too late, uh, to uh, talk to the council members, uh, just to get more of an understanding. It seems some things we feel are misunderstood on our side, and I imagine they would probably feel the same thing. Um, also, it didn't fall. Through. It fell through. We couldn't just get everybody together before that Tuesday uh, vote. But the, I'm, I'm just saying this for for us who are still on the board. We have to have better communication. Uh, all of us are open. 
I'm not, by the way, I'm awful on email. I am a dinosaur with computers, but just about everybody else on the board uh, you can reach on email. With me, you can always get on the phone. I'm retired now. And if you know me, you can leave me a phone call. I'll get back to you. Okay? I would like anyone who has questions, and I know the rest of the board would, to keep the communication lines open so we don't always go to the last minute on that. Okay? But I want everyone to know that we're all in this together, and we're just going to have to make the best out of it. Uh, and that we've done our best, and I hope that you see that we did listen to the public when you see what the proposals are tomorrow. All right, thank you.